Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Race Hub Victory Lane. I'm Shannon. This is Larry, Mikey, and Jamie McMurray. What a race it was for Kyle Busch, who, by the way, did not have the fastest car throughout the race, but was there when it counted. What impressed you most about the third win for the 18 this season? To me, it started at the very beginning of the race, because if you go back to lap one, he's wrecked on the front straightaway. But Adam Stevens and that 18 crew, they made three additional stops under caution in the last 40 laps. They very just meticulously made sure that car was right and next thing you know no surprise he's up there battling for the win and battling for the lead what i love about bristol shannon is you run on the bottom of the racetrack you run up on top and late in the going kurt bush was coming yeah. he was making grounds on his little brother and kyle went up high and took that lane and to be that versatile and to take a car that was crashed and be able to drive it that fast on the bottom and then in this instant move up to the top and close the deal to me that's what i love the most yeah complete team effort today kyle bush did his part on the track but adam stevens made it yeah. just a really good call to stay out there at the end yeah and to calm his driver in the car we've heard adam stevens have that calming effect on kyle when things don't go wrong speaking of things going wrong inside the race car one of the hot topics on social Social media today was the fact that Chase Elliott was having issues with his power steering. Take a look. I'm blown away by Elliott at the moment. If his power steering issues are that bad, I think I made it about eight laps is what one person, oh, Tommy Joe Martin said uh, when he was driving a truck without steer, uh, power steering. And um, someone saying that he's driving his arms off literally with any power steering. You've been in a car without power steering before. I don't know what I think about Tommy Joe saying stud about Chase Elliott at the end of that, but uh, <laughs> clearly Chase Elliott has consumed a tremendous amount of spinach because to drive a car around Bristol Motor Speedway <laughs> like Popeye. without without power steering is a challenge. I got it. Spinach and, and chicken wings. You know, he's, he likes those Hooters wings. And you can get 10 free apparently this week. Yeah, because, got because he's so tough. But this was an impressive performance, Larry. Even if the power steering is just intermittently going in and out, he had a really fast car. Yeah, almost got a top 10 finish. And of course, he spins out right here. I mean, it was a very up and down day. But I think there was a lot of people suspected there may have been some issues with power steering. Again, you just see he completely had his hands full. I know there were some teams last night and this morning actually put coolers on the power steering fluid because that fluid gets so hot it will cavitate and that'll let the power steering go in and out, in and out, which it sounds like a little bit what was going on with the nine. Yeah, what? Bristol and Dover are the two tracks that we struggle with power steering the most. And like Larry said, putting a cooler on. And I feel like you always hear someone having an issue at those two tracks yeah. each week. How hard is it to turn that wheel without the power steering? You, I don't think you could if you didn't have any power steering. What's frustrating is when, when it's in and out yeah, because yeah. you can't drive the car properly. All right, all three of you guys will be on Race Hub this week. That's at 6 p.m. on right here on FS1 on weekdays. We'll also talk to Kevin Harvick later in the week. Don't forget Radioactive on Tuesday. And, of course, Winner's Weekend tomorrow. We'll see you there.